Good afternoon to all the participants. I, Dr. Jaimini Vyas, welcome you on behalf of KCG on this online faculty development program on life science. The program will be commencing from 14th December to 24th December from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Just a brief introduction of our today's speaker. Our today's speaker is Dr. B.K. Jain, sir. He is a director at JMD Institute of Nursing and Science, PDPU Gandhinagar, and a former principal of MG Science Institute of Ahmedabad. Before proceeding further, I would like to give some general instructions. First of all, we are going Facebook Live today on the page of KCG. Second, the link will remain same for all the days, that is 14th December to 24th December. It is highly and strictly advisable not to share the link as it is created just for the registered candidates. Certificate will only be generated to the registered participants and it is compulsory to fill all the assignments for the issue of certificate. There won't be any session on Sunday. And lastly, I would like to request you kindly keep your audio and video off during the session to avoid the disturbance. Thank you. I'm handing over to uh, Dr. B.K. Jain, sir. Thank you, sir. See, today's workshop is on the life sciences and I've selected a topic pertaining to mass statistics. Generally, the teachers or the students from the life sciences, they are from B group, biology group. And as they don't like mathematics, they prefer biology. And when they become a teacher, bar statistics is a part of the life sciences teaching. Now, one side, we don't like mathematics. Other side, we have to teach bar statistics. Now, the thing is that if we don't create the interest among the students, not only the students, but teachers also get bored. That is the main thing. Now, bar statistics has a lot of application in research. As you know, if there is a paper of life sciences and you are putting enough data, enough analysis through bar statistics, definitely the value of that paper, that work will be extraordinary. You collect any data, you have to provide the validity to the data. That is the main thing. And that's why we have to go for the bar statistics. In very short, you are very much acquainted with the term biostatistics. It is very simple. What is biostatistics? The application of a statistics in biology that is known as biostatistics. Or the application of a statistical know-how to the biology, to the life sciences is known as a biostatistics. If you open any book of biostatistics, you will find 8 to 10 chapters which are arranged in a sequence. First, you will find the data collection. Then next, then next, presentation of data. That will be the textual form, tabular form, or you can say graphical form. That will be the second chapter. Then third, you can say central tendency. Measures of central tendency in which we are studying the mean, mode, median. Then we are coming to the standard deviation. That is another chapter, fourth chapter. Standard deviation, that is nothing but measures of dispersal. Measures of dispersal. Then we are coming to the probability. Probability In probability, we are studying the chi-square, that is the x-square. Then we are coming to the probability distribution, normal distribution, binomial distribution, and Poisson distribution. Then we are coming to the correlation, correlation. And mathematically or statistically, if you are calculating, it is known as a coefficient of correlation. And then finally, regression and of course, analysis of variance that is known as the NOVA. Now, how to make the teaching of biostatistics interesting? That is very, very important thing. See, whenever you are teaching the students, please 
take the examples of biology. Otherwise, the student will not be able to understand the thing. And if at all they will be able to understand, they do not know how to make the application of analysis to the biological data. That is important. And that's always prefer the life sciences data and apply the formula. Now, why the knowledge of biostatistics is essential to the students and teachers of the life sciences? One by one, we will see. One by one, we will see. So, first, we will see the data collection. Data collection. How to collect the data? That is very important thing. And of course, I will show the slides. Uh, the one by one, we will take. Yeah. This is what is statistics. Now, the topics which we are studying under the mass statistics. Now, data collection. Definitely, before you have to go for any analysis, you should have the data with you. And data we have to collect either from the field or by making the experiment because uh, there are two types of data. You can say the data which we are getting through the experiment and data which we are getting through the survey. Two types of data. But in science, generally, uh, we are going for the experiment and we are collecting the data. But arts and commerce side, definitely, survey is made and we are getting the data. Data collection. There are two methods of data collection. One is the census method and second is the sampling method. So census method. You know that India government publishes censor in the first decade, sorry, in the first year of every decade. In the first year of every decade, I means just you can say it was published in 2001. Then it was published in 2011. And then now census will be published in 2021. But I don't think because of the COVID condition, the pandemic situation, because the census method is a very, very time consuming, main power consuming. But I tell you one thing, whatever data we are collecting through the census, they are up to the mark. In the census method, each and every individual is having equal opportunities to be included and they are included. They are included. Each and every individual will be calculated in census method. And that's all. This method is necessary for the government to make the future plan. Five-year plans, ten-year plans, whatever it is. Today we say that India is a young country. On what ground we can say that India is a young country? So if you see the census of 2011, it clearly mentioned that the 55% population of India belongs to 18 and 28 years age. This data we got from the census. And that's why we are telling that it is a young country. And since we are having such type of data, it will be easy for government to make any policy. But as I told you, the census method, of course, it is a perfect method. There won't be any error. 100% perfection will be there in the census method. But it has advantages as well as disadvantages. Now, what are the advantages? As I told, each and every individual will be counted. All the items of the analysis are studied. See, teachers, they used to come to your home with a big chart and they ask how many male are there, how many females are there. A children, under what age they are, the domestic animals if you have, bicycle you have, four wheelers you have, everything, everything. Near about 48 columns are there, and the uh, surveyor will fill up all this thing. So, in this way, first at village level connected, then you can say Taluka place, 
the district plays, the state level, and the area. <coughs> so this is the way how we are calculating the data. The, so first thing, all the items are included in the calculation. That is fact. Second, the analysis of data becomes more representative and true. Why do this? Because we have considered each and every person, each and everything. So whatever you are getting, that is absolutely true. No malpractice, no manipulation, nothing else. Then characteristics of the population is maintained, quite obviously. Quite obviously, because what will happen when you are counting, suppose you in a village, thousand people are there, and if you are calculating all thousand, characteristics will be maintained. And highest degree of accuracy will be there. Highest degree of accuracy. These are the positive points of the census method. But the most important point, all the individuals are calculated or included in the counting. That is very important. And that's so. Highest degree of accuracy. Now, what are the disadvantages? Of course, it has advantages, but at the same time, it has disadvantages. Require large amount of time, energy, and money. I tell you, in India, it takes near about three years to collect the data for the census. So, large amount of time, energy, and money is required because person or people, they are moving home to home together the day. Large number of enumeration may require the long calculations of and in changing situation, the information may change with the change of time. See, today we are telling the Indian population is 125 crores. On what basis we are telling that our population is 125 crores? So we are telling on the basis of census published in 2011. It means today we are referring 2011 census. We don't have any alternate. Because 2011 census said that Indian population is 125 crores. But in fact, if today's scenario, if you say, it might have crossed to 132 or 35 crores. Because after 2011, nine years have passed. And we have not taken any consideration. We have not taken the counting of the increased population. Generally, we say that India produces Australia every year. Of course, there is a mortality rate also. Mortality rate also. But the thing is that this is the main drawback that the old figure which we have calculated, which we are having in 2011, same we will repeat till the another census comes or another census published. Means now we are waiting for 2021 census, maybe one or two years late because of the COVID situation. And in that we may get 135 crores or whatever. And once that we will get up to 2031, this will be continued. So this is what we can say is the main drawback, disadvantage. So if you see the data collection, there are two methods, census method, sampling method. We are talking about the census method. I told you each and every individual will be counted and there are advantages and disadvantages, I told you. Now see, second is the sampling method. In science, generally we are preferring the samples. We are going for the sampling method. Suppose in a class of 100 students, you would like to find out the average height of the student. There is no need to go to major height of each and every student for all hundred students. But you can select ten students, you measure the height of ten students, make the total of ten divided by the ten, whatever you will get, that is the average. That is the mean. So in sampling method, part of population will be taken into the consideration, not entire population. Since census method, entire population is considered, but in the sampling method, a part of population will be considered.
No, see, there are two types, there are two methods of sampling. Uh, one is the random sampling and second is the non-random sampling. Random sampling means it is not hapager. Random itself is indicating that it is hapager. Of course, it is a random, but it is pre-planned. Suppose if you want to measure the density of trees in a forest, what to do? So on paper you make a plot of 100 by 100 acres or 100 by 100 meters, that is one hectare you can see. Simple, you can plot like graphical form. And then you select five corners, 10 by 10 meters, 10 by 10 meters. And you decide Okay, from each corner, I will measure the density of two trees. So, total 10 trees and two trees from the center. To sketch a plan on the paper and then you go to the forest and according to that, you mark it 100 by 100 meters plot. And from each corner, you select two. So, though it is a random, but it is pre-planned, it is not a pager. Now see, random sampling, it is also known as a probability sampling. Because here probability is there. Because suppose thousands of trees are there, but we are not considering our thousand trees. We are taking few trees. And that's why I told you random is not used in the sense of a picture. Random sampling suggests that selection should be made without deliberate discrimination. We don't have any deliberation. In a class, if you want to measure the height of 10 is then don't go for any discrimination. You select all the types of is then. Height 8, less height 8, middle group, you select all these things. So there won't be any discrimination. Actually, in sampling method, each and every individual is having equal probability to be included, though they are not included. But probability is there. In a class, you have decided that I will measure the height of 10 students and you are going to the class. All 100 students, they are telling you, thinking that my height will be But in fact, it does not happen. You are going to measure the height of only 10 candidates. But each and every student is having probability that it should be included. Now say, random sampling can be classified into three categories. Simple random sampling method stratified random sampling method and systematic random sampling method. Simple random sampling method. As I told you, simple method, each and every individual is having equal uh, probability to be included in a population. But as I told you, it doesn't happen so. Probability is there that each and every individual will be considered. But it is not like that because we are going for the sample. So how to select the sample? How to collect the sample? So there are two methods in simple random sampling method. One is the lottery method and second is the random sampling number. See, uh, lottery method, what we are doing, suppose 100 students are there and if you are having the height of all 100 students, you make the slip, 100 slip. Number one student is having height of 5.2 inches, like second, third, like this, 100 slips. And you are someone unbiased person to select out the time slips and as what we are doing in the lottery. So the person will select 10 slips and then you make the total of 10 divided by 10, whatever you get that will be mean. So lottery method, simply what you have to do, slips are made on each individual, individual item. And somebody who is like neutral or unbiased select the items from the population. And second, random sampling number. Actually, these numbers were given by LSCT Pet statistician. Actually, he has given a table. Suppose you are having 100 readings and you want to select the 10 readings. Which 10 readings we have to select? In that case, you can go for the LSC ticket table. The table will tell you, you select 9 number reading, you select 18 number reading, you select 31 number reading, like this. 
So total 10 readings will be selected according to the table given by the CTP. So TP will tell you which readings you have to select. Suppose if you want to select only 5 readings from one rate, TP will tell you select the 21 number of reading, then 40 number reading, then 51 number of reading, then 71, like this. So this is the random sampling number. So lottery method and random sampling number. These are the two classes of simple random sampling method. Now stratified random sampling. See when the population is heterogeneous, stratified, that word has come from strata. Strata means layers, layers. As you see, when you take the transfer section of soil, you will find the different layers. Lowermost is made up of rocks, then sandy, then fine clay like this. So these are the layers. Or if you go to the Himalaya zone, you will find the strata of the trees. Vegetation, particular type of vegetation you will get. So, stratified random sampling method, it is applicable where the population is heterogeneous. Population is heterogeneous. Maybe it's age wise, caste wise, whatever it may be. So, here what will happen? Population is divided into state or subgroups possessing the similar characteristics. And samples are selected by taking equal proportion of items from each group. I tell you, select a group uh, 11 to 20 years age. Second group 21 to 40 years age. Third group 41 to 60 years age. Okay. Now you put the population in that group. And from each group, now you select in equal proportion. Suppose in one group 100, in second group 100, in third group 100 population is there, then from each group you can select 10, 10. That's it. So that is the stratified random sampling. And last you can say systematic random sampling. See, uh, items are arranged either on the temporal, that is the temperature or time or spatial, that is the size or shape or alphabetical. Here, the digits are required, figures are required, and according to that, you have to arrange temperature 25 degree, 26 degree, 20, like this time, 2.30, 2.32 minutes, whatever it may be. Size, shape, or alphabetically order, you can put A, B, C, D. And items are selected at fixed interval. Fixed interval. Suppose at the interval of 10, so first you select 1, then 11, then 21, then 31, so there will be interval of 10. Now, non-random sampling methods. See, data are collected on the basis of expert judgment or convenience. Here, see, this is the difference between random and non-random. No planning is required in non-random. And random planning is required, though it is not there. Planning is required. Here, there is no need of planning. You can collect the data on the basis of your judgment or convenience. It is divided into three categories. Purposive or judgment, sampling method. No systematic planning is required. We remember, as I told you earlier also, in random sampling, the systematic planning is required. Here, there is no need to go for the systematic planning. An investigator has the power of description and can deliberately select or reject any item. It is up to you which article you have to consider which. May not to consider. That is your power. That is your discrimination. What you have to do. You can select, you can present any item. And all the items do not have the same chance of being selected. Why do we say? Why do we say? Because it is not probability. It is not probability. It is under your jurisdiction what to do. You can select, you can reject any item. Quota sampling method, quite obviously quota are set up for the specific characters such as age, religion, urban area, rural area, or salary group. And from each quota, you fix the number and that much population you pick up. 
Kochi from Ahmedabad to Baroda. Uh, there is a train from Ahmedabad to Mumbai. Uh, looking to the population of Baroda, the quota is allotted. If it 20 seats are from the Baroda, then you can send Klesh, or then Surat, you can send. So on the basis of population of that city, quota is allotted. And convenient sampling method, see, this is again very, very easy. Fraction of population is being investigated. Selection is neither based on random nor on the judgment, but convenience. Suppose I, I want to measure the height of limb tree, average height of limb tree, and just before my house, there is a ground, and in that 20, 30 green limb trees are there. So the best way is that you have to measure the height of some 5, 10 trees, make the total divided by 10 and whatever you'll get, that will be the mean. Generally, it, it, this is the proper method. But in non-random sampling method, particularly in convenience sampling method, it depends on your convenience, what you are going to do. You feel that I don't want to go far away and the tree which is very nearer to me, I will measure the height of that tree. Okay, no problem. Because it is convenient to you. So this is what we can say, convenient sampling method, but I tell you, non-branding sampling method is not pre-planned, correct, it is not well-planned, though it is a feature, but it is a plan. But non-random sampling method, no planning is required, it is completely up to your jurisdiction, up to the investigator, how to collect the data. So this is what we can say, data collection, and I tell you data, whatever data you collected, that can be put in three form, textual form, in text form you can put, then tabular form you can put, and finally you can put in the graphical form. The best way is the graphical form, by which you can understand very easily. Measure of central tendency, this will be the third chapter. See, there are readings. When you are putting your eyes on the readings, you may feel that there is a one or few readings which are in the center. You, you feel like that. Suppose one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Immediately you feel that four is in the center. So there are certain readings around which other readings are concentrated. Such readings which are located, which are lying in the center, is known as a central value, is known as a central value. And tendency of measurement to remain in the center, tendency to remain in the center is nothing but central values. See, this is the human nature also. You might have observed that the students, those who are sitting in the classrooms, they were there fixed sitting. There are a few students which are sitting on the first row, first benches. There are a few which are sitting in the middle. Some are sitting in the last bench. And that is the routine. Those who are sitting on the first bench, always they will sit on the first bench. And those who are sitting on the last bench, always they will sit on the last bench. And those who are in the center, they will be in the center. And suppose one day some candidate comes late and he or she will not find the space on the first bench, though he was sitting every day on the first bench. But now today he or she is not getting the space. He, he or she will become restless. Though he will manage, he or she will manage, say in some other places, but he or she will be restless. Because that is the human tendency. I am sitting on the first bench, always I prefer to sit on the first bench. That is our tendency. That is our tendency. So similarly, there are readings which try to remain in the center because there is some tendency. One, two, five. There are five digits, one, two, three, four, five. Immediately, three is having central tendency. If you arrange in ascending order or descending order, three will be in the center. So this is what we can say, central tendency. So, may, see, so there are values around which other values are 
congregated or you can say concentrated. So stack of values are known as central values and tendencies to remain in the center is known as a central tendency. And when you are measuring the central tendency, we are telling that we are going to the measures of central tendency. So I thought the central tendency will be clear to you. To remain in the center, tendency to remain in the center, and there are digits, there are figures which you will find that they are in the center. So measurement of tendency to remain in the center is known as a central tendency. Now the central tendency may be of two types, mathematical average and average of position. See, the measures of central tendency will be in the average. You can put your central tendency, what is the measurement of central tendency? That is average. Average is a measure of central tendency. Now see average, there are two types of average. Mathematical average, and average of position. Mathematical average where the calculation is required. Arithmetic mean comes under the mathematical average. What is arithmetic mean? You know very well. Total number of values divided by the number of values. That's what we can say. An average of position, median and mean. See, these two, uh, we can calculate it by the position only. There is no need to go for the calculation. Have a glance and pick up. Very average of position, based on position. And mathematical average, you have to calculate. Now say, why there is a need to go for the average? Why we have to go for the arithmetic mean? Say, it is in our routine life. Mean is in our routine life. If you're asking somebody what is the time that fellow is turning to 25, but your watch shows the 2.30, you will be in confusion. Your watch is showing 2.30, you ask to someone that fellow said that it is 2.25, so you will be in confusion. So you'll ask to some other person and that fellow will say that it is 2.35. It is 2.35. See, the thing is there are three readings, 2.25, 2.30 and 2.35. Before you, there is a question, which is the standard reading now? Immediately, he will say it is 230. 230. 225, 230, 235. You will pick up that 230 is the correct value. In fact, it is nothing but it is a mean. 225 plus 230 plus 235 divided by 3, you will get 230. So this is what we can say. Why, why there is a need? to go for me. See, one thing I tell you, in science we are performing the experiment. And when you are taking only one reading, uh, one cannot rely on that reading. Why? Why you have to take three to four readings of the same set? Even sometimes you have to prepare four to five sets and then you have to take the reading, considering that reading of all five sets should be equal in number. But it doesn't happen. Because Suppose you are taking two gram seeds, you are crushing, you have taken five test tube. In each test tube, two gram seeds will be there, crushed the seed, and then whatever it may be, you add the water or an indicator, whatever it may be, color will be developed, and then finally you are going to the spectrophotometer, you are measuring the UD. See, in each test tube, you edit two gram seed, 10 ml water, one ml indicator, or equal, equal in quantity. So quite obviously, all the reading, all the audio should be similar in nature. But it doesn't happen. Why? Because the mistake may be at any level. And this is unknowing. It is not man-made mistake. We are not knowing where we are doing this. Suppose you have taken the five test tubes. Out of five test tubes, three test tubes were used for the acid analysis one day before and it was not washed properly. Then you use directly. That will react and the color formation but definitely defines.
चलो टेस्ट ट्यूब ओके वी आर एग्रीड दैट वी हैव क्लीन द टेस्ट ट्यूब देन यू आर एडिंग 10 एमएल वाटर इन ईच एंड एवरी टेस्ट ट्यूब बट इट इज पॉसिबल दैट ड्यू टू मिस्टेक अननोइंग मिस्टेक इन वन टेस्ट ट्यूब इंस्टेड ऑफ 10 एमएल 12 एमएल वाटर इज फ्लैश अ केबल अब रो ध्यान से जा बाजू जो तो रन बैटिंग का आधार है दैट इज पॉसिबल एट ए कया लेवल ऊपर क्या मिस्टेक था छे दैट वी कांट से वी आर नॉट डूइंग मिस्टेक नोइंगली whatever is happening that is all right and even i tell you everything is all right when you are putting the weight in the spectrophotometer and you are taking the reading at that time it is possible that there is a fluctuation in the current and reading material so each and every level there is a possibility of becoming a mistake of course it is not knowingly unknowingly but in order to remove of this state what we have to do you take the four to five readings make a total of five divided by total number of five whatever you get that will be the average that will be the mean that how we are calculating the arithmetic mean now average of position as i told you there is no need to go for the calculation pick up the middle figure that is median 1 2 3 4 5 3 is a median There is no need to go for the calculation. Of course, the series is even, then there will be a problem. If series is odd, there won't be any problem. You can pick up the middle and then divide it. But if series is even, what you have to do? You take two middle figure, make the total divided by two. So whatever you get, that will be the median. In more, more is a fashion. More is a fashion. figure which is repeatedly or frequently coming in the series is no the more suppose 10 digits of their 1 2 3 3 4 5 6 7 8 7 8, 7, 8, 7, 8 like this so 7 is repeated 8 is repeated 3 is repeated so the figure in the series which are repeated are referred as a more એટલે જ આપણે કે મોડ શું છે મોડ ફેશન છે મોરુઝ means there is a more selling and that's why we are telling it is a fashion if you find out the average every day the students who are wearing the jeans and coming to the college you see every day you will find 60% or 70% of students they are wearing the jeans and that figure will be repeated throughout the month and that's why we are telling it is a fashion so more is nothing but more is a fashion means the figure which is repeated frequently in a series is known as a more in as i told you make a total of total variables divided by total number of variables you will get the thing see these are the different methods to calculate the mean x is equal to sum total of x upon n n is a number x is an integer value sum total of x 1 2 3 4 5 so 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 what are total you will get there is a sum total of x n is all reading is known as x divided by n total number suppose five readings are there five if data are group then you have to go for the frequency i will show you the example how it is but these are the three ways to calculate the mean if simple 1 to 20 digits you are having simply make a total divided by total but if more digits are there more variables are there more values are there then you have to make it to the groups and then you apply this formula sum total of fx upon n upon n that is the f frequency total and then x is equal to sum total of fm m is a middle value sum total of f so one by one we'll see it will be clear to you see this is simple way the simple formula how to calculate the mean 5 4 6 3 2 total 20 so sum total of x is equal to 20 divided by 5 is equal to 4 so 4 is a mean clear there is no doubt in that very simple way 
don't say uh, total 50 readings are there. Total 50 readings are there. You are having on the paper 50 readings. Now you say how many uh, times the two is repeated in this reading. So two is repeated 10 times. Three is repeated eight times. Four is repeated 12 times. And five is repeated 20 times. So total 50 readings. Only four types of readings are there, two, three, four, five. Of course, the thing is that two is repeated 10 times, three is repeated eight times, four is repeated 12 times, and five is repeated 20 times. So total 50 readings are with you. Right? Now what you have to do, simply you have to go for fx. You multiply the frequency with the individual reading. So 10 into 2 is equal to 20, 8 into 3 is equal to 24, 12 into 4 is equal to 48, and 5 into 20 is equal to 20. So, sum total of fx is nothing but 192 divided by 50, because you have already multiplied. You have already multiplied. See, this two value, you have multiplied 10 times. So, this is the value of 10. So, here, 50 divided by 50, so 3.8 will be the mean. And third, you can say, this is simply you have to calculate. Now, this is the third way, 1, 3, 5, 2, 5. These are the reading actually given to you. Now, you have to make the classes. Now, it is up to you how to make the classes. Suppose a series of readings are with you. You put a glance, you put your eyes on the reading and find out which is the minimum value and which is the maximum value. Say in this example, you will find one is the minimum value and nine is the maximum value. So you make the classes. It is up to you how to make the classes. One to three, this is one class. Four to six, second class, and seven to nine, third class. Of course, equaling into. It is up to you. Even if you want, you can make only two classes. One to four. And five to nine. But gently classes the mean interval on chokers so at low perfection of the reading. Like an apple bear class for one to four and five to nine. But we made three classes one to three, four to six, and something. Now you see how many readings comes under one to three. Take the trauma market reading savage. So see, ten readings are coming in this range, 1 to 3. How many readings are falling under 4 to 6 range? So 5 readings. And how many readings are falling under 7 to 9? So that is the 5 readings. Of course, we calculated the mid value. 1, 2, 3, that is 1 class. So mid of that class will be 2. If you simple one, two, three, at least middle two jobs. But if you say one plus three upon two is equal to two, four plus six is equal to ten upon two, at least five jobs. So seven plus nine, upon two, at least even that much of the It is easy, first and last. Pakdi total kari and divided by two karo. So this way. So this is what we can say. Mid value and frequency have to multiply. So finally, we will get the MF value and sum total of FM upon F. So 90 upon 20. In fact, it is somewhere wrong. Actually, as it said, 85. Is 85 out here, but by mistake, it is 90. Anyhow, 85 upon 20. So you can spell it. So these are the three ways to calculate the things. No merits, so it is very clear that it covers all the observations and easy to calculate. It is affected least by fluctuation of sampling. Fluctuation is so we have to total it, minimize any problems. And it provides base for many other methods of statistics. See, one thing I tell you, if you want to go for any statistical analysis, mean is required. Without mean, you cannot move further. Demerits, it cannot be determined by inspection. Obtain mean in a series may not be represented by any observation. Gadiwari, family ma be baadokushi. 
બીજી ફેમિલીમાં ત્રણ છે અને ત્રીજી ફેમિલીમાં ત્રણ છે ડ્રોબેક Uh, of course it is affected by the extreme values you know current chike 3 5 so that will be shifted towards the higher values and anyhow sometimes the value of mean will not be acceptable as i told you 2 plus 2 plus 3 and it is 2 pd and i told you odd number and even number if it is odd then 4 is median if it is even number then two values you have to make the plus and divide it by 2 merits of course sana to kai benefits na de median ane mood na particular in the life sciences we are not making any use of this apne khas karine use kariye chhe to mean mo kariye chhe mood as i told you the values which is repeated frequently in a series is considered as a mood jo a series ma panch be var aayo chhe to five is a mood see there is a series where five and six both are two two times so it is a bimodal class and both are modes if there are number of readings bahut gani badi reading che apni pass hai ane koi kya ke mode find out karo in that case it is very difficult to find out so we are going for the calculation of mode and there is a formula mode is equal to lower end limit plus f minus 1 less than modal class and f plus 1 more than modal class into interval that you will see later on these are the class interval 161 to 170 171 to nananda aa group ma char reading chhe aa group ma sat reading chhe aa group ma nav reading chhe aa group ma like this to j group ni frequency maximum chhe that is considered as a modal class we remember the class which is having maximum frequency is known as a model class jo amma badama 21 sauti is actually this can be considered as a model class this is the lower end value 211 this is f minus 1 value before the model class le a model class na upar before the model class after the model class there is f plus 1 have tumhari paas f minus 1 so much f plus 1 18 che model class ni frequency which channel lower end model class values 211 and interval che that is of 10 161 to 170 is equal to 10 10 ta ta mo pido 211 plus 16 upon 16 plus 18 into 10 to che kai ave that is the mode but uh, we have to calculate on the case where number of readings are otherwise and i told you uh, in biology or in life sciences the mode and median They have least advantages, or you can say they are not in much application. Uh, now, this is very important because uh, measure of dispersion. This is another chapter, and uh, dispersion means what? After Gujarati, we say it fell out. પાંચ મીન આવે છે તો પાંચ ની જમણી બાજુ અને પાંચ ની ડાબી બાજુ કેટલી રીડિંગ છે ને કઈ કઈ છે ધેટ વી શુડ નો બીકોઝ મીન ઇઝ અ સિંગલ વેલ્યુ તમને કોઈ ભી આપે કોઈ ફિગર આપે તમે મીન તો કાઢી શકો ને 10 100 1000 2000 15000 ને 1 લાખ કે કે કોઈ મીન કાઢો તો બધાની ટોટલ કરીને ડિવાઇડેડ બાય ટોટલ નંબર યુ કેન ફાઇન્ડ આઉટ મીન વેરી ઈઝી બટ ઇન લાઈફ સાયન્સીસ વાય વી આર કેલ્ક્યુલેટિંગ ધ મીન we are considering that all the reading should be equal but by mistake unknowing mistake reading sent different but the difference will be very very minute and acceptable but again there is a question to be the minus difference here but which reading we should consider and that's what we are going for to be that's what we are going for to be you are having 10 readings you made a total of 10 divided by number of 10 you got one reading that is a mean ab je ek reading tum ne madi cha that reading will do not indicate the reading does not indicate the series from which you have calculated the mean in that series what is the minimum value or what is the maximum 
ફરી તમને કહી દીધું કે કોઈ પણ રીડિંગ તમને આપી રહી હોય તમે એનો મીન પાડી શકો છો કોઈ જ પ્રોબ્લેમ પણ આપણે તો મીન નો મીન હેતુ શું છે કે બધી જ રીડિંગ એક સરખી હોવી જોઈએ નથી કે કારણો વરસાદ તો પછી જે ડિફરન્સ છે એ કેટલો છે અને એના માટે આપણે પહેલા મીન કાઢીએ અને મીન કાઢ્યા પછી સી ઇન ધ સાયન્સ આફ્ટર મીન ઇફ યુ આર નોટ પુટિંગ યોર સ્ટેન્ડર્ડ ડેવિએશન વેલ્યુ ધેન ધીસ મીન હેઝ નો વેલ્યુ મીન ની પાછળ તમારે સ્ટેન્ડર્ડ ડેવિએશન હોવું જ પડે તો જ તમારી એની વેલ્યુ છે સપોઝ યુ કેન સે 3 4 એન્ડ 5 સમડી આસ્ક યુ ફાઇન્ડ આઉટ ધ મીન ટુ સિમ્પલ 3 4 5 4 3 ચાર રહ્યા મીન ઇઝ 4 But this four doesn't indicate that the series of the value of the value of the value of the value of the value. But if you calculate the standard deviation, it shows that it comes plus minus one. So, if you charge the value of plus minus one, it will tell you that the value of 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 the value. મિનિમમ વેલ્યુ માઇનસ કરો તો ડિફરન્સ બતાવી deviation ke to minus one variation ke to minus one so this is what we can say ane jevi ritna apne standard deviation ne ganiye jema apne mean ni calculation kare li tarah formula use kare ni same formula you can use here for the calculation of standard deviation jo ena andar bahu simple che ke these are the length of fishes in centimeter you can say or in inches you can say and you find out the mean total divided by 5 so 6 is a mean હવે ઇન્ડિવિઝ્યુઅલ ડેવિએશન કેટલું કે ભઈ આ ફિશ જે છે જેની લેન્થ 6 સેન્ટીમીટર છે અને મીન 6 આવે એટલે એ ડેવિએશન જીરો છે પણ એ ડેવિએશન 1 નું આવે એ ડેવિએશન 2 નું આવે એ 1 નું આવે બટ અલ્ટીમેટલી વેધર ઇટ મીન પ્લસ ઓર માઇનસ યુ હેવ ટુ ગો ફોર ધ એક્સ સ્ક્વેર સો ઇટ વિલ બી નલિફાઈડ સો આને તમે એક્સ સ્ક્વેર કર દો ત્યાર આવી ગયું નાઉ વોટ આવર ફોર્મ્યુલા સેઝ ધેટ એક્સ સ્ક્વેર અપોન એક્સ ધેટ ઇઝ અ સો વેરિયન્સ ઇઝ ટુ variation ji i do that is what we can say variance but the thing is that standard deviation no original swarup je che that is the variance we would like to find out the variations from the mean ke je reading che e mean thi katli variate thai che katli deviate thai che but the thing is that in biology in life sciences there are many parameters which cannot be depicted in a square the okay, variance will be always in a square now height of a boy breadth length weight all these are the parameters which you cannot put in the square you cannot put in this actually bahut simple che ke variance ne standard deviation ma ke itna convert karu the under root square under root karu that's all if you under if you are going to under root the variance then it will be a standard deviation actually the meaning of the standard deviation no mool swarup to variance variation means sathe katlo variate kare che original reading but when you are calculating the variance it will be in the square and uh, in biology there are very many parameters which cannot be depicted in a square for example height weight length cannot be cannot be in the square therefore standard deviation is used to find out the deviation or variation from the mean value it may be defined as the square root of the arithmetic mean of the squares of deviation from the arithmetic mean the deviation 
અને બીજામાં આપણે ફ્રિકવન્સી જો તમે લો તો એફડી સ્ક્વેર ઓફ ફાઈવ હવે ઇન્ડિવિઝ્યુઅલ ડેવિયેશન તમે કાઢો લાઈક દિસ અને એને સ્ક્વેર કરો અંડરવુડ કરો ને તો દિસ વુડ બી વર્ક ઓન ધ સેમ સો મીન ઇઝ 5.4 એટલે જે માસ આપણી પાસે રીડિંગ છે એમાં ડેવિયેશન કેટલું છે તો લોઅર સાઈડમાં ફાઈવ પોઈન્ટ ફોર માઇનસ વન પોઈન્ટ થ્રી અને હાયર સાઈડમાં ફાઈવ પોઈન્ટ ફોર પ્લસ વન પોઈન્ટ થ્રી દિસ ઇઝ વોટ વી કેન સે ડેવિયેશન જો તમને કહ્યું કે ક્લાસ છે ટુ પોઈન્ટ સિક્સ છે કરી શકો વેટ ઓફ ફિશ યુ કેન પુટ ઇન ધીસ વે હાઇટ ઓફ સ્મોલ પ્લાન્ટલેટ્સ યુ કેન સે ટુ પોઈન્ટ સિક્સ ઓર જર્મિનેટેડ સેટલિંગ્સ ટુ પોઈન્ટ સિક્સ સેન્ટીમીટર જે કાંઈ વોટ એવર યુ વોન્ટ ટુ કેન પુટ So total 100 germinated seedlings are 0.2 plus 3.4, 15 upon 3 is equal to 3. So mean will be 3. Now what do you have to do? You have to go for squaring this. Squaring this. And then finally you have to multiply with frequency. So a total value will be 100. Your mean will be 3. Your total value 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 will be 3. probability what is probability when nothing is certain you can say it is a number of equally likely to likely cases tum ek suppose 50 times head pade and 50 times tail pade to koi puche ke head ni probability katli the number of favorable cases head katli var pade jo 50 var and total number of equally likely cases so 100 times to me kare chhe that is 50 upon 100 0.5% same you can find out for 10 probability will not be more than 1 ye khas yaad rakhna ek thi vadare kare probability hoy sake nahi ane ek atle 100% 0.5% 0.05% result aave to result pehla aave to pachi total number aave એટલે ઉપર વેલ્યુ ઓછી હોય નીચે વધુ હોય એટલે ઇટ વિલ બી ઓલવેઝ ઇન ધ ફોર્મ ઇટ મીન્સ 60% સો ધીસ ઇઝ વોટ ઇટ સે નાઉ સી देयर આર સર્ટન બેઝિક કોન્સેપ્ટ ઓફ પ્રોબેબિલિટી અ ઇવેન્ટ તો ઇટ ઇઝ સેટ ટુ બી કલેક્શન ઓફ પોસિબલ આઉટકમ્સ વેન એન એક્સપેરિમેન્ટ ઇઝ કન્ડક્ટેડ આપણે જ્યારે પોઈન્ટ ટોસ કરીએ ધ હેડ રિટેલ ધીસ આર ધ ઇવેન્ટ્સ એક અકરેન્સ બીજી ને અસર કરતી નથી જો એક પોઈન્ટ તમે ટોસ કરો છો તો હેડ દેખાય તો ટેલ ના દેખાય ટેલ દેખાય તો હેડ ના દેખાય એટલે એકબીજાને અસર કરે છે કોઈને બીજા કોઈનના રિઝલ્ટ સાથે કશું જ લેવું જોઈએ વેન ટુ કોઈન્સ આર ટોસ ધ રિઝલ્ટ ઓફ ફર્સ્ટ ટોસ ડઝ નોટ અફેક્ટ ધ રિઝલ્ટ ઓફ સેકન્ડ નોટ ઇન્ડિપેન્ડન્ટ અફેક્ટ ધ કરન્સ ઓફ ધી અધર સિંગે કોઈન એન એ 60 ટાઈમ ઇટ ફોલ્સ હેડ એન્ડ 40 ટાઈમ્સ ટેલ તમને એવું કોઈ પૂછે કે વોટ ઇઝ ધ પ્રોબેબિલિટી ધેટ હેડ ઓર ટેલ મે ધારો કે 50 વાર હેડ પડે અને 50 વાર ટેલ પડે તો 50 પ્લસ 50 ઇઝ ઇક્વલ ટુ 100 પર્સન્ટ પ્લસ વોટ ઇઝ ધ પ્રોબેબિલિટી ધેટ પ્લાન્ટ વિલ બી ટોલ હેવિંગ રેડ કલર ઇન્ડિપેન્ડન્ટ ઇવેન્ટ મેન્ડેલ સેડ ધેટ ઇફ યુ આર મેકિંગ એ ક્રોસ મોનો હાઈબ્રિડ ક્રોસ ધ રેશિયો વિલ બી 3 ટુ 1 એનો મીનિંગ એવો છે કે ત્રણ પ્લાન્ટ જે છે રેડ કલર ફ્લાવર દર્શાવે છે અને એક પ્લાન્ટ જે છે પિંક કલર ફ્લાવર ધીસ ઇઝ ધ પ્રોબેબિલિટી ઓફ ફ્લાવર કલર now what is the probability of height ema pane uche ke 3 4 plant che tall as yes mendel is kayo in follow kari cha mendel ke 3 is to 1 no ratio of samuno hybrid cross red flower plant ne white flower flower sath cross kari to in second generation 3 4 plant will show in the red color flower and one fourth will show in the white color same if you are talking about the height of plants so 3 4 tall and one fourth flower i will say ઇન્ડિવિઝ્યુઅલ તમને ખબર છે યુ નો વેરી વેલ મેન્ડલે કહ્યું છે કે ભાઈ થ્રી ફોર્થ અને વન ફોર્થ બટ નાઉ દેર ઇઝ અ ક્વેશ્ચન કે સમબડી લાસ્ટ યુ વોટ ઇઝ ધ પ્રોબેબિલિટી ધેટ પ્લાન્ટ ઇઝ શોઈંગ ધ રેડ કલર ફ્લાવર 
and it is also possible. Three upon four, the red color flower, the probability is three upon four, the white color. Tall plants. They will say that the red color flower is tall, and the height is tall. Independent event, we have to make the total. Multiple theories, that is for the independent event, and you have to go for the multiplication. I think it will be clear to you. And this is the example of biology, so there won't be any problems in biology and life sciences. But plant Hoi, there are 75 plants, red color flower, and 25 plants, white color flowers. See, Mendel Summit, there was a question. Okay, how many seeds we will sow so exactly we will get the 100 plants? Nobody can see. We cannot see the viability of seeds. Suppose you are putting 100 seeds, it is possible that only 70 seeds are making a calculation and you are finding out the ratio. But he never got the ratio equal to 3 to 2. And he carry with 3 to 1 no ratio more than the So there was a challenge before Mendel what to do if you are going on repeating the experiment, years and years will be lost, but you will not reach to the conclusion. And that's so, to find out the validity of the data which he collected, results which he got, how much can he do? Then he had a lot of chi-square test. And a chi-square test of his catch is that you accept it or reject. Mental or yourself or myself. Expected result is significant. और आप अपने 70 या नहीं 30 मरे हैं डेविएशन पांच पांच मरे हैं ताजे डेविएशन आयु छे डेट इज एक्सेप्टेबल और नॉट डेट इज द क्वेश्चन वी बोल्ड द मैन एक्सपेक्टेड रेशन वी कैन से वी आर डिटरमिनिंग द गुडनेस ऑफ इट से आप वो काइस के अंदर बिजु ना मार चे गुडनेस ऑफ इट वी आर टेलिंग दैट वी आर ग a chi-square is nothing but goodness of it. And this technique was developed by Air Fisher. And of course, Carl Pearson used in 1900. But as I told you, they, these are the statisticians. Biology was something that I know of Kareo Shri Mendel. And the expected cut looks at the 75. One minus A, one whole square upon A minus one. Like this, it is already you put and make a total. ना एक्सपेक्टेड चाहिए क्योंकि आप थ्रेस टू वन नो रेशो आप हैं जो ने आप अपने मुड़े आए हैं जो गणित वाले ऊपर ने कि इफ यू आर गेटिंग दिस वन ओनली दिस यू कैन फाइंड आउट वेरी इजी रहता है अलग क्वेश्चन सोचे डिटरमाइन द वैलिडिटी ऑफ मोनो हाइब्रिड क्रॉस मोनो हाइब्रिड क्रॉस अपने you make a total of this both values. ना थी तो मैं आगर त्रि करेशन तो है तो चार थी डिवाइड करो तो एक नहीं वैल्यू आई होगी इंट्रोन थी करो तो ना पिज़ा नहीं वैल्यू डिवीज़न चाहे डेट इज़ एक्सेप्टेबल और नॉट वेदर दिस वी कैन कंसीडर इस अ थ्री स्टू वन और फाइव पुट योर रीडिंग्स इन द फॉर्मूला एंड � See, degree of freedom is nothing but total number of readings minus one. We have to have a badge reading chair round and every time. Now, every day cross the total four combinations. So, like four minus one is equal to three. So, degree of freedom will be three. And nothing is problematic because in biology, we are studying monohybrid cross or dihybrid cross. If it is monohybrid cross, degree of freedom will be one. If it is dihybrid cross, degree of freedom will be three. Four minus one is equal to three. Now say, uh, you have to give your validity of data at 1% level or 5% level. Why? Because in biology, it is expected that up to 5% deviations are by chance. Paanch karta vadare hoye, it is main way, natural. At least we are considering the natural phenomenon. So examiner will ask you, find out the validity of your data at 1% level or maximum at 5% level. अब यह बनने सोच है डेट वी विल सी डिग्री ऑफ रेडम रो एंड कॉलम माइनस वन माइनस वन नया वन डोंट गो फॉर दैट आई आई टोल्ड यू बी रिमेम्बर टोटल नंबर माइनस वन दैट इज़ द डिग्री ऑफ रेडम डाइब्रिड क्रॉसेस है तो डिग्री ऑफ रेडम तीन ओसे चार माइनस वन करो नो बानो हाइब्रिड होता टू माइनस वन सर एट at 5% level, what is the table value? Away, uh, just I'll show you this is the table, chi-square table. <clears throat> you take any bar statistics book, at the end, this table will be given. See, 
this horizontal line indicates the percent level. See, 0 0.05 means 5%. 0 0.01 is equal to 1%. We remember probability will not be more than 1. 1 is equal to 100%, so 0.5 is equal to 50%, and 0 0.05 is equal to 5%. So 5% is our percentage. Examiner can say 5% or 1% or 1%. This is the thing. And this is the degree of freedom. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If it is monohybrid cross, we have to see at this level. If it is dihybrid cross, we have to see at this level. Find out the table value at either 1% or 5%. At degree of freedom 1, 5% level, find out. So, 5% level at degree of freedom 1, and this is 384. 3.84 table value. Your freedom and percent level. Percent level will be given to you by examiner and degree of freedom is with you. Examiner to me kya chahega 5 percent upar jo hota apne aaj bhi hota 3.84. Now see only value kya liye chahe 3.84 and table value. Table value at degree of freedom one at 5 percent level the table value is 3.84. Calculated value is the x square value and this is the table value. A table value karta calculated value nani hoe in a sankya uchi hoe. We are telling that we are accepting the null hypothesis. It means the results are non significant. Calculated value is this one. If calculated value is less than the table value, you can say and you can accept as a trace to one ratio. Calculated value. Darukya 0.25 che any jagya. 8.7 के ऊपर का भी है, नया 3.48 चे, हाँ संख्या बढ़ी गई, तो क्या इनसे रिजल्ट्स और सिग्निफिकेंट, सिग्निफिकेंट एटलिस हो कि तफावत बहुत मोटा पाया ऊपर चे, सो यू हैव टू रिजेक्ट, यू कैन नॉट कंसीडर इट एस अ थ्रेस। आई थिंक इट विल बी क्लियर टू यू, सी वन इज़ द डिग्री ऑफ़ फ्रीडम, now at degree of freedom at 1% level or 5% level, what is the table value that you have to see? So very, very clear how to write at 1% level at degree of freedom 1, table value is this one and x square value is this one. Put both the values, table value, x square value. Now see, if x square value is less than the table values are there, that you can accept as a trace to one or nine is to trace to trace to trace. value, then you have to reject. Results are significant, differences are too high, and we cannot accept it as a trace to one or nine is to trace to trace to. This is what we can say. It lajo kevi na conclusion che. If calculated value x square is higher than the tabulated value, then the result is considered as significant. Significantly, difference which you have to nari aake jui shakiya. It means expected and observed frequencies are different, and that's we have to reject. Mental ne reject karu pade bhi ani thoda jema ek nathi kani shakta. But if calculated value x square is less than the table value, jia ma ma jia. So you can say that it is acceptable because insignificant differences are very very minor. You can accept it as a trace too. So that, that was the challenge before the Mendel. And Mendel took the help of chi square analysis. And on that basis, whether to accept or reject, uh, that analysis will tell you. So this is what we can say, chi square. Right? So I think uh, there won't be any problem. Now we are coming to the next. Yeah, these are certain examples. Now, this is another part of probability. Uh, one is the chi-square is a part of probability and second is the frequency distribution is a part of probability. It is also known as a probability distribution. Many. Which is the maximum reading. And you make the group. You make the classes. 1 to 10, 11 to 20, 21 to 30, 30. And then you put in 1 to 10 how many readings are there. In 11 to 20 how many readings are there. When you are grouping in such a way, when you are making a classes, and you are putting the figure before that, you can say it is nothing but a frequency of that class. <coughs> so presentation of such condensed information of data is known as a frequency distribution. In the class, there are 100 students. You measure the height of all 100 students. X's, you are putting the character. Y axis, you are putting the frequency. So 
અને બીજી બાજુ વાય એક્સિસ ઉપર આપણે નંબર મૂકીએ ટેન ટ્વેન્ટી થર્ટી ફોર્ટી સી હાઉ મેની ફ્રેન્ડ્સ આર હેવિંગ એ હાઇટ ઓફ ફાઇવ પોઈન્ટ ટુ ફિફ્ટ જે કે પાંચ દસ નવ યુ પ્રોટેગ્રાફ દિલમાં જે ઘંટ હોય છે ને એની આપણે વાત કરીએ છીએ ઇલેક્ટ્રિક બિલની વાત નથી કરતા frequency graph will be always bell shaped if it is undisturbed they remember in the circle they don't be bell shaped in nature not height you take any parameter any parameter if naturally then the graph will be bell shaped and i tell you the peak the center shows the mean a bell shaped graph is your view like this it is the bell shaped like this and aaj peak aave che that will be showing the maximum frequency maximum frequency so the vadare sankhya vidyarthi ni ya chhe ane je peak chhe that will be the mean that will be the mean under deviation joiye ye point bana vi jase 4 5.6 5.4 plus one year and minus one year to this area covers mari pase 100 vidyarthi ni height chhe તો સિક્સટી એટ વિદ્યાર્થીની હાઇટ આ પ્લસ માઇનસ વન માં આવી જશે એની હાઇટ આવી જશે અને પ્લસ માઇનસ થ્રી કરો તો ઓલમોસ્ટ હંડ્રેડ પર્સન્ટ નાઇન્ટી નાઇન પોઈન્ટ સેવન પર્સન્ટ વિદ્યાર્થીની હાઇટ આના વચ્ચે આવે છે દિસ ઇઝ ધ નોર્મલ ડિસ્ટ્રીબ્યુશન નોર્મલ ડિસ્ટ્રીબ્યુશન છે પ્લસ માઇનસ વન સિક્સટી એટ પર્સન્ટ કવરેજ વિલ બી દેર પ્લસ માઇનસ ટુ નાઇન્ટી ફાઇવ પર્સન્ટ કવરેજ વિલ બી દેર and plus minus 3 100% coverage will be there a true a true deviation tha ana karta vadare deviation natural mane tha when you are talking about the bell shape cos just to read this kudrati chhe par do fix 68% population no samavesh thai sakta plus minus 2 karo to 95 ane plus minus 3 karo to 99.7 etlo almost 100% real distribution tero karan evo chhe ke ina je data tamane male chhe એનીબિલિટી જોઈ છે capital is small and too small is small we will have particular genetic constitutions ke bhi rehta ke daro ke banne capital is small hai sathe che ke banne small hai sathe che ke one capital is small hai sathe che bijo small is small hai sathe che about the combination to what is what combinations are possible tell ke ek family na andar be baalako che combinations kaya kaya possible thai sake pehli baat to probability individual probability respective it કેમ કે આ તો મેલ હોય અથવા ફિમેલ હોય બે બી બે પ્રકારની મેલ બે બી ફિમેલ બે બી આ બે જ પ્રકારની બે બી છે એટલે ઇન્ડિવિઝ્યુઅલ પ્રોબેબિલિટી ઇફ યુ વોન્ટ ટુ ગો ઇટ ઇઝ અ ફિફ્ટી ફિફ્ટી બટ વી આર ટોકિંગ અબાઉટ ધ પ્રોબેબિલિટી ઓફ કોમ્બિનેશન કોમ્બિનેશન કેવી રીતના કે ફર્સ્ટ બે બી ઇઝ મેલ સેકન્ડ ઇઝ ઓલ્સો બંને મેલ બે બી થાય કા બંને ફિમેલ થાય અથવા પહેલી મેલ હોય બીજી ફિમેલ અથવા પહેલી ફિમેલ અને બીજી મેલ આના સિવાય કોઈ પ્રોબેબિલિટી બનતી નથી સો there are four types of combination see a combination ni probability katle what is the probability of this combination i am talking about the combination ke families na andar banne mail hoye bhi combination probability katle ni 25 taka karan multiple rule lagu pade che individual probability is half to so half multiply by half is equal to 1/4 female female 1/4 like the right combination ni probability because there are only four combination one is male and second is female ab birth aagu pacho thayu che that is different thing ke pehla ma female baby ne pachi male bija ma pehla male ane pachi female that is different but ultimately family ma to be baalako che ma ek male ane ek female female or that is the 50% like 25% 50% and 25% that is the ab it ami juo ane tame exactly fit karo to p plus q whole square is equal to p square plus 2 p q plus q square ab p je che ene tame gene capital is small add karo that is male plus a small is small that is a female banne equal number ma che whole square to follow the capital is small is square plus 2 capital is small is small is small plus small is small is square thank you one is to two is to one
that what binomial equation says is 1 plus 2 plus 1 binomial is also symmetrical but binomial since it indicates by by means to what the bare characters ni probability apne ek sath janva mangiye chhe so we have taken this example ki we bare prakar na children one is male and second is female birth wise the main probability jo hota ka to banne male hoye ka to banne female hoye atwa ek male ek female individual probability 50 50 chhe the combination ni probability to one fourth hai मल्टीपल रूल लागू पड़े टॉकिंग अबाउट कॉम्बिनेशन वी आर इंटरेस्टेड टू नो द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ कॉम्बिनेशन प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ कॉम्बिनेशन टू कॉम्बिनेशन आर सो आई थिंक इट विल बी क्लियर बिकॉज इट इज वन इज टू बी इज टू वन एंड इज माइनोमियल इक्वेशन एंड एक्सैक्टलीस इन दिस नाउ नेक्स्ट यू कैन सी पॉइजन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ने ते स्ट्रिक कर मेजर करता 95 ની જાય એટલે મેજર કરો છો ને પછી ઇફ યુ આર પ્લોટિંગ અ ગ્રાફ યોર પીક વિલ નોટ બી ધ સેમ મેન થી થોડી કે વેલ્યુ જમણી બાજુ હોય થોડીક બાજુ ડાબી બાજુ હોય તમે એક બાજુ ને વેલ્યુ જ કાઢી નાખો તો પીક વોન્ટ બી ઇન ધ મિડ પીક વોન્ટ બી ઇન ધ સેન્ટર ઇટ્સ ડિસ્ટર્બડ ઇન ઓલ પરી મેન સાથે ધેર ઓન રાઈટ સાઈડ ઓફ ધ લેફ્ટ સાઈડ રાઈટ સાઈડ માં છે તો લેફ્ટ સાઈડ માં લોંગ ટેલસ કે અહીંયા જો તમે બંને 50 કરો 0.50 ને 0.50 કરો તો 1:2:1 આવશે binomial equation lagu padse a plus b whole square making the discrimination amathi ho tame ghatadi nake thodi sankhya to it won't follow the one is to two is to uh, it will not be in the center jo tumne ko a p ki aadi so the right side there is a long the right side is no such spinness it means the normal distribution is just up then it gives the poisson distribution variables if there is a change in one variable another variable also varies simultaneous variation between two variables is called covariation jo tumne bahut clear kahun ke jitlo rainfall thase there is a change in one variable variables definitely it reflects the variation in the other variable simultaneous variations between two variables is called correlation the matter is mukido whether it is positive or it is negative or there is no correlation it is more your weight and body length correlation ma you can put any parameter at any either on x or y but when you are talking about the regression we remember independent will be on the x axis and independent will be on the y axis karo ke dna and rna se to dna ni value hamesha x axis upar aavse because it is independent and rna is synthesized from dna so rna is dependent on dna so dependent will be on the y axis but in correlation you can put any weight there won't be any problem so see body length and body weight but when you are putting a plotting a graph positive correlation positive correlation positive che but it is moderate it is not absolutely see in india in our culture it is expected that the age of husband Then we always more than the age of the wife. Just say, "Hey, my wife, husband, got that? No, no. That is universal truth. Never in India, but it does not follow everywhere. No reason is there. If it is love marriage, it may possible that both husband and wife are having same age, age two or three years more than the wife. That is it. Means 95 percent cases may have been made, but there are five percent cases that are not made. And that's so. It is not absolutely. or you can say perfect positive correlation it is positive correlation but it is moderate it is moderate perfect negative correlation ship lipid contains high temperature see income and death mortality one each hospital for treatment by two person which means for income they went in the result that so up to certain extent it may affect it may affect. so of course it is a negative it has nothing to do but in certain cases it has to be. and that's why we are telling it is a negative moderate negative and if you have it not that many points made if you graph plot karo and you have line na do reach up you can say that there is no correlation shape body weight and iq ne kai leo give na scatter diagram method scatter diagram formula ma tame tamara badha jo je che e x y ni value che e sum total actually sigma 
वाले जो प्लस वन आवे के प्लस नाइन नाइन आवे यू कैन से इट इज परफेक्ट को रिलेशनशिप और परफेक्ट पॉजिटिव जो माइनस नाइन नाइन आवे हो तो माइनस वन आवे यू कैन से इट इज अ परफेक्ट नेगेटिव को रिलेशनशिप जेम जेम आ डिजिट ऊंचा करता जाए वो रिलेशन ऊंचा होता है पॉइंट सेवन डेव एफ टू पॉइंट नाइन हो तो सफिशिएंट पॉइंट थ्री टू पॉइंट सिक्स आवे तो ओनली पॉसिबिलिटी नहीं पॉइंट थ्री आवे प्लस माइनस तो पॉसिबली नो को रिलेशनशिप कहीं से तो तुम्हें रिलेशनशिप नहीं है लावे इतना जिस चीज़ ही को रिलेशनशिप नो फैक्टर्स ही आप कर रहे हैं शायद पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव को लागे नोट द वैल्यू फॉर अदर वेरिएबल फ्रॉम द नो आरएनएन प्रोटीन्स सो आरएनए इज इंडिपेंडेंट प्रोटीन इज डिपेंडेंट बिकॉज़ प्रोटीन इज सिंथेसाइज्ड फ्रॉम द आर आओ जारी हो जाए बट रिग्रेशन नो मीनिंग सो थाई छे कि गो बैक हेड मेजर करें अने जटला ड्वार्फ पेरेंट्स हता फादर हता एमना दिखरा उनी हाइट मेजर करें व्हाट कंक्लूजन ही फाउंड दैट के sons of the tall father they are having height less than the father na dikrao ni height ati dwarf father ni height karta badare nahi to so tha ke 5.7 inch la father hote no dikro 5.9 inch tha pachi marriage kare to 6.1 tha he marriage kare to 6.6 tha to pachi no to anta j nahi rehto ne prem nahi kudrat je che ene balance kare che atle bahu badare ne lage ke agad nikli gaya ene back le ya le regression point for the ratio 18 years li cha avada chhe ave ano graph tame plot karo 40 80 120 160 ni sabe aapo ko exact ek line aavse ave tamne koi puche ke x ni value 60 hase to y ni katli hase to graph ma 40 ane 80 vachche tame ek point mu ki ane graph plot karo to it comes to 0.60 ta a prashn kya aave ke ek vyakti 1 lakh rupaye advertisement paachad karche te 10 lakh ni selling thai बे लाख खर्चे तो वीस लाख नहीं था त्रन लाख खर्चे तीस लाख नहीं था चार लाख खर्चे चालीस लाख नहीं अभी व्यक्ति ने एवं जुवे कि मैं तो तीस लाख नहीं के पात्रीस लाख नहीं सैलिंग करवी है तो के खर्च तो तुम ग्राफ में जी दो कि आ पॉइंट मूको तेम ए साढ़ा त्रन लाख खर्चवा था जो पात्र लाख ने सैलिंग कर ग्राफ तो मैंने कही दे एटे ग्राफ है अंदर ज फिगर तेरे शोध So I think uh, this will be more than enough, and today we will put the break here. I think I tried my level best to cover. At least uh, I have given the idea about the entire mass statistics. So I don't think there will be any uh, difficulties. For sparing your valuable time and give your immense knowledge to all the participants. Mm -hmm.